ready. Well, here we are. It's uh, Monday. It's Bank Holiday Monday. We've come in today to grate this patio, and we're going to be using the Easy Grate product. Um, just show the Easy Grate over there for us, Roy. Just so yep. our, our clients, consumers, and, and uh, viewers can see the Easy Grate product. Look, that's a slurry grate. Okay, a slurry grate is going to get all over, and you just pour it all on, and it absolutely just looks like oil. It looks like as if you've got in some sort of mess but you need to clean it. So what we've got here is we've got uh, a choice of um, utensils to clean it with. So we'll talk about this in a minute, but we've ordered this this morning. We've picked this one up from Screwfix. This is uh, a Ruby wash boy. Um, I bought this this morning. Um, I can't even remember how much it was now, um, but you can check it out on, on Screwfix. So that's for putting your grout in. There's your sponge your sponge there and this is your wash boy as well so it comes with this little rack inside here normally or sometimes they do have the option with ones with wheels on and you can see this is uh, well used again they have this little stand inside but we've lost the wheels on here so we need to find the wheels locate the wheels so what happens is you basically fill that with water don't fill it up too much because the last thing you want when you break your patio is water spilling over you've just got to be working careful all the time because it will just ruin it if you dilute the grout whatever grout you're using it can be a pain so this goes in like that with the water and then you just run this over the wheels so see how you squeeze it in here okay you'll be able to see this in action so it might sound simple for some people but for some it doesn't sound uh, it's not so simple and then you've got these ones on wheels and these these have actually got little brakes on on the front don't look at these here uh, there we are look these are good so if you want if you want your your wash boy to stay still you just put that on and that's not going to go anywhere like you know but without doubt um which i think is absolutely a winner massively is this pebble system when you're using the slurry grout uh and you're pushing it around you, you use this uh, this is the the raymondi squeegee and you can actually stand up and just show you now so you can just pull your grout around like so with this it's a rubber squeegee uh you can get replacements for these we've got a replacement here haven't we now this morning yeah i think yeah uh, we'll get the new uh um, oh, we'll get the new one on there because we haven't got the handle so um you can pull your, your slurry around with this with this rubber uh, squeegee this is the remondi one and then what we've got here once your grout is spread around all over and you've worked it in then you can use one of these to drag down as well to help you along you use anything that's available to you and you've got to work with with speed the reason i like the slurry grate is because it gets right the way down and fills up all those nooks and crannies and you know that it's not going to come out but the disadvantage is that you've got to clean it and really you should only be uh using the amounts what you can manage right okay that's that's the important thing okay and i'm not telling ryan i'm just talking to ryan because uh he understands how it goes but when you're cleaning is this is just it's just a game changer. You fill it with water, this is the pedal system, it's on wheels, you can drag it around, okay? And again, make sure that when you put your water in, come and have a look, right on the inside yep. here, okay? So what we've got here, this is where we squeeze our sponges out. So what happens, the sponge goes in like this, you squeeze it out, give it a bit of a turn like that, then you can clean your paving, like so. Then it goes back in the water on this side, okay? You rinse it out, you put it on here, and then you squeeze it again. And all this action is gonna keep you off your knees. That's the most important thing. It's gonna keep you off your knees and you'll be able to stand up and work, work around. Now, the other day, the other day, um, because of uh, trying to get product at the moment, it's a little bit di difficult. What we had, we had basically this on the end of the, um, the mop. And basically it wasn't doing any good at all uh, we did work with it we got it done completed and uh, we've got a little bit more to do this morning but I didn't want to compromise the paving the porcelain paving uh, with our clients here simply because it's just not fair you can't be working with tools like that. you can't blame it on the tools can you right no um, not at all so we've got two new ones um, got them from uh, Tyler's tools uh, Jim Stote up there uh, check them out online this is the sponge and all you do basically is that you unscrew it and then you screw the new one in so we've got two this morning let me just show you these we've got two that we can use this morning so ryan and i would both be able to use it put it in 
want to rinse it out and then squeeze it out and very easy to use. What I actually do, what I do is if you're cleaning it as you're going along, you won't need to because if you let it dry too much, you're going to have to go backwards and forwards and loosen up. You've seen that, Ryan, the other day because yeah. we did it. Very hot, yeah, wasn't it? It was hot, right? We didn't expect it to be hot on that day. So, one, you don't want rain. Secondly, you do you want a dry day, but you don't want heat. You want it overcast like this. And then again, it's, it is still warm. It's a rapid set. It's going to start get going harder as you're going along. But what I would suggest is just try and work with what you've got. As it starts to turn, then you can start cleaning. But what I always say is, is that as it starts to go, drag it one way first, okay? Always drag it one way, even if it's backwards. And what I tend to do, once it's clean, I place it down on the tile, and then I just go all the way around in that momentum, and I'll just keep going around one direction, okay? Like the band, okay? That was a joke. Uh, Anyway, just keep going around in one direction and it takes it off. If you tend to go backwards and forwards like that, you're just moving it around. If you're going in one direction, you're just pushing it as you're going along. Almost, almost like, you'll understand this now, almost like a snow plow, isn't it? You're yeah. going in one direction. So you could literally go all the way around that patio, in my opinion, go all the way around that patio and it would clean it as you go in, then come back. And I wouldn't do too much, put it in, in the water, rinse it off, on the pedalo, you stood up, basically you come down squeeze the water out like this and then you go again place it down and then follow where you haven't been before and then you keep repeating the process but you've got to make sure that you squeeze it out and all the water comes out because if you don't what you're going to do in theory you're going to start diluting the ground it's almost going to be like wheat custard so here we are this is um the remondi pedlo system um from tyler's tool in um up north um, speak to Jim Stoke up there I'm sure he'll be able to help you out so just wanted to point out is that sometimes people think that I work a lot with Ruby and I do work a lot with Ruby they're a good company but you've got to remember is I'm impartial to all products if I feel the product isn't working right I will say it's as simple as that and uh, if I think it's working good I will say so on that note have a good day we got some great to do in the meantime uh, hit the like button uh, Please, please subscribe. It's so important that you subscribe. I'm, I'm trying to get at least 100 uh, likes on this uh, channel and some subscribers as well. So, uh, But if you need any information or any advice, go to the website, which is www.greentoplandscapes.co.uk or you can uh, drop us an email, info at greentoplandscapes.co.uk. Better still, you've got access to me. Not that way, though. Uh, you can give me a ring on 07795 595. 994 07795 595 994 have a good day